Well, situations like this fight often happen in an instant. And that gives school staff little time to come up with the right reaction. Renee Bonneau spoke to the teachers union about how teachers prepare for episodes like this. Mike and Alex, the short answer is there is no short answer. There isn't a hard, fast set of rules that will work in every situation, making teachers' jobs even harder. There's always that fear, that fear that um, something's going to come up unexpected. And that happens, I think, in everybody's work. But it's particularly uh, challenging when it's with children. And we want it because we really want to get this, this right. And, and so teachers, this is what we lose sleep over. The president of Anoka Hennepin Education, Minnesota, says while there isn't specific training to prepare staff for handling violence, each school occasionally checks in with staff to discuss different scenarios and how they should handle them. They also get advice from police liaison officers. And when events like this do happen, schools try to learn from them. What I hope happens with this, inve with this investigation is that we go beyond just trying to decide who said what or who deserves blame. But go to a place that we can learn something valuable, something that's going to help us improve school climate for all of our students. Often teachers who mainly work with students with behavioral problems undergo crisis prevention and intervention training. Mike and Alex, the Anoka Hennepin School District didn't know if the teacher in this recent incident had such training. All right. Another reason it's a tough job. Yeah, right. Yeah. Thank Thanks you. For